Hi Dave, this is George N2APB. This is your, what soon will be your um, KX1. I'll give a quick run through its operation just to show you um, that it's uh, nice and intact. Here's the cover from Tuftalin. It's a nice dust cover, magnetic uh, cover. Perhaps you've seen it. Um, you probably have seen this around. Anyways, I'll quickly uh, connect up the, the apparatus here. We'll connect up the paddle. I'll connect up a speaker just so that we can hear it. I'll connect up a... Um, uh, an antenna. This happens to be a tuned trap vertical, but uh, we'll, we'll also see the antenna tuner in operation. I'm operating on um, uh, lithium cells in here, so they total up to 9 volts on the uh, on the inside. 12 volts is uh, uh, external here, but I normally operate in the field with lithium cells. Um, all sorts of menu options. If you're familiar with it, you'll know it. Otherwise, you can uh, look it up in the manual. Um, pretty simple and powerful once you get uh, used to it. I'll turn it on here. Right here, we tune up to... Uh, it's a three-band operation. You see... I'll turn it on again. You'll see that we turn on to the 40-meter band first. If we cycle through the bands, there's the 40-meter. 40 meter or 30 meter or 20 meters and I'll open up the filter and the gain all the way <clears throat> there happens to be uh, the uh, SS well, what is it the SS contest um, I forgot what the name of it is it's every evening at 8 o'clock or something it's very busy right now but you'll see that in just a moment I'll tune it to the, this is uh, 14, that 18, 14, or 14, 0, 18, 14, 0, 19, 14, 0, 3, 0. I'm going to try to find a quiet area right here. Um, this will be pretty impossible. Oh dear. There's a quiet area. I'm going to pretend it's quiet. Area. Nope. Uh, let me set the speed to 20. Well, just let me see if he's going to get me. I don't know. I don't even have a number. See if I'm tuned here. Let me just tune. It's tuning. And it shows I've got a power level of 2.1. I could show you my power meter up here, but it's about 2.1. That's going to be good enough. And then it shows that I got a 1.7 SWR. I'm going to try to get this guy. I'm going to get a finer granularity on him by tapping the dial here. You'll see this in a moment. So it's like 30.0. So there's the... Uh... Oh, come on. Here we go.
I said no number. No number. He gave up on me. Oh well. But at least you hear me transmitting. Okay, so let me get back up to a normal 14.030. So that's 14 megahertz. Let's go down to um, 7 megahertz. Let's tune, first of all. ATU is quiet, which means I got a one-to-one. -one. I got a lower power level there. Remember, we're on batteries, so we got about one watt here. And my SWR is 1.0 to 1. With 12 volts, we get about 3 watts, 4 watts. With batteries, we can only get about uh, 1 to 2 watts. This is per the specs here. This is QRP, as you know. I want to open up the uh, um, filter and the RF gain. Um, got a lamp. Well, that's it for get a finer granularity on this so we can another SS. Anyways, six minutes into it, you see some basic operation, and uh, I'll open it up real quick just to sort of show the inside. I think I should take this off. Oh, I'm going to show you that Pelican case. This fits in really nice. This is so sweet. So you can put your antenna and whatnot in here. And this is really nice for taking to the field. Really quite a protective case. Really nice one. And lastly, let me take the battery, uh, take the, the back off. So you see the inside with the three band unit and the ATU and the lithium cells. So what you see is what you see. And the, uh, we got made a contact and uh, again, it's yours shipped if you like up to New Jersey, I guess you are. So let me know what you think. And uh, PayPal is fine. If you want to send it to friends, family and friends, I think that would do it uh, so we don't have to pay tax or uh, pay uh, the, um, the, uh, the fee on that and everybody would be happy. 73, talk to you soon.